Hey there folks, this is Dr. Steve coming to you again from Elevate Sport and Spotting here in Denver. And I want to talk to you about an article that I heard from NPR that was talking about how we sit versus how much we sit and why it's important to kind of focus maybe on a little bit of both and uh, demonstrate some of the things that they were talking about in that article. Uh, so basically what we've come to find is that sitting is not really great for us. A lot of people hurt their low backs when they sit and it might be due to how we sit, not necessarily how much we sit. Um, so I still think that we need to mix things up a little bit more that you really shouldn't be sitting all day either. Um, but if we are gonna sit, we should try and do it in the best way that we possibly can. So what I'm gonna show you is a few different things uh, to focus on when we sit and how to identify when you might be sitting incorrectly. Uh, so the first thing we'll look at is kind of our pelvis position and that's what's gonna kind of guide everything else. Because usually when you tell people to sit up, uh, what they end up doing is not correcting for things down here at the base and that still makes it to where we're susceptible to things like disc injuries and things from sitting too much. So what we want to really focus on when we sit is kind of our pelvic tilt here like this, back versus forward. And the tendency for a lot of people when they sit, especially as they get more and more tired, is to kind of get into this kind of C shape where our pelvis is rounding underneath us. So if I was standing up and held that position, I would look more like this. If I sat down, it would stay about the same. We want to try to avoid that kind of sitting as much as possible, especially as we get into more lazy sitting here like this and we get into these kinds of things. It can cause problems up the chain. Uh, but as far as low back stuff goes, really focusing on finding either a neutral position to sit in or a slightly extended position to sit in is somewhat better. Uh, the reason for that being, if we were to look at you know, how people are sitting in an x-ray, is with that kind of curly shape that we're talking about, that posterior pelvic tilt, what happens is it puts a lot of pressure on the front portion of the disc here like this, and then that can squeeze some of that jelly material out of the middle into the back and irritate nerves and things like that. So that's that kind of disc herniation, disc bulge type stuff. So that is kind of what happens when we're sitting in that rounded position here, is it looks something here like this, and our back kind of rounds out in this way. Uh, on the opposite end of that, which is what the article claims is the better way to sit, is to kind of roll your pelvis forward more like this, and I don't necessarily agree with that for one reason in particular, is that it starts to force the joints back here to compress a little bit more, and that can cause issues as well. So in an uh, ideal world, I think more focusing towards a neutral position when we sit. It's gonna be kind of the best of both worlds. We have a nice broad base where we're sitting on our sit bones here, and we're kind of taking the pressure that's between these joints back here and the disc and keeping it pretty even. Um, so really kind of focusing on that situation we were talking about earlier, um, I'll show you again kind of how to find kind of a middle neutral ground and how to sit from there uh, and then show you what your posture should look like all the rest of the way up from there. Uh, so to start, I always tell people what we should do to find a good neutral pelvis is to squeeze our butt really tight and what that will do is kind of shift our pelvis underneath us and then we have to use our core here after we let our butt go to kind of hold that position and from here when I sit down I want to hinge back into the seat versus just plopping back down because that kind of forces me more into that kind of rounding position so again finding neutral hinge back into the seat and then hip hinge to sit back up uh, from here, a good thing to check is your posture in general. So the relative position of the back of your head, middle of your back and tailbone is gonna be the most kind of neutralish way to sit and give you the least amount of compression in things when we are sitting. Uh, what we can do with a stick or a broom handle or something like that is to put it against our spine after we've kind of found our neutral position, sat down here like this. I should notice that when I'm sitting here, to the back of my head, middle of my back, and tailbone are all kind of in the same plane here. And if I need to get closer to my work or anything that I learn how to kind of hinge here like this versus rounding here like this, because that's when the problems start, not only in your low back, but up here in the neck and head, because that's when tension headaches and things like that start to build up. So hopefully that helps clear some things up. Uh, maybe not agree so much with the article about how they talk about really dumping forward here like this just because of how much pressure it puts on the facets. So I would try and find a little bit more of a neutral position uh, and you should be sitting a little bit better at that point. Again, I would still just kind of recommend not sitting for eight to 10 hours a day in one big long stretch. 
uh, breaking it up with standing, moving around, and just getting away from your work from time to time. I uh, hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to reach out to me here at the clinic. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.